Table Talk. We're here to address some mom issues because that's how we roll. We're all about the mom. So I would just like to start off today's Kitchen Table Talk <laughs> with this image. Can you see it? I think everyone in the world has seen this and lots of people in the world have purchased this Time Magazine with this lovely lady, who is in fact a mom, breastfeeding this teenager. <laughs> Let's talk. <laughs> um, well, what do you want to talk about? Do you like that or do you not like that? So, take, take a while, but. I don't think Debbie likes it. And let me be clear, you are in favor of breastfeeding. Yes. Yes, because these breasts have fed babies. I've seen a lot of action. <laughs> So I don't feel bad moms if you weren't good at it all as well. Well, and that's the message. Like, I breastfed my kids for a year each. Like, it was like, when you're one, you're done was sort of my motto. Oh, my God, I love that. Do you love that? Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, well, for my and own. Debbie did oh. her due diligence. Three months. Three months. Like, and, one and, month. And what we want to but say is, issues. yes, we're both mom enough. It doesn't matter if you nurse your baby until they're three or four. That doesn't make you a better mom well, or a worse mom. But yeah. that's what you think. But well, this woman clearly thinks that you have to breastfeed your kid until they get a driver's license. Well, but I think most of us think it's my business how I'm going to raise my child. Yes. And we as a society judge situations like this. And we just, it's, for me, it's like the ooh factor. I look, I go, it's, it, what's happening? Like, he's four. Right? <laughs> I think when, when your kid can unbutton your shirt and like grab it. And say, and Mom, I want some hoop. I mean, come on. But she I clearly have, didn't have any more babies after this because I had to get one off the boob so I could get another one on the boob. Or do you just boob them both? I don't know. I mean, maybe she does. I don't know enough about this woman, but this guy, Dr. Sears. Who my kids went to for a minute. Really? In San Clemente. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what did he say to you? Well, I saw his son because I was not, you know, the celebrity Worthy. model with the perfect boobs. Mine were saggy. No, I mean, he has a whole philosophy about he believes the first three months of your baby's life is like their last gestational period. They think they're still in the womb. You're supposed to bring the baby in the bed with you. you your head would pop off. Anyway, it's I not Frank <laughs> bits and pieces I did absorb and I did, you know, take to heart and but I have I, I love my pediatrician now. He's super old school. He believes breast milk and Crisco solve everything. Oh I like that. Yeah. I mean super for the old elbows and the yeah. for everything. Um but he's a little bit more pragmatic when it comes to certain issues. So I think the point is we don't need to be judging ourselves on someone else's idea of what being a great mom is. This woman may do a super job and her child may grow up to be well adjusted and fabulous and not have a titty complex I, I, and I, all those things. What? I, I, this is where, I, I'm sorry, I'm going to be a little judgmental. Uh -oh, I don't, yeah. oh boy. Well, I, have, okay. I don't understand what the purpose of that is. Well, the I think the idea is you raise your kids to go out and be independent. So being more dependent to me is just fostering some sort of a strange, Co weird, <laughs> codependent thing that has more to do with the mom than <laughs> the child. I agree. Sorry. Well, that's Yeah, you're right. Uh, and, and here's the, well, and see, again, we're judging, but in Africa, Women carry their babies around for a long time because there's no food for them. So the, the, it is a pragmatic solution because the mom can keep right. lactating and supply food. In the United States of America, this woman's child does not need to be supplemented on the breast. But it's her prerogative. Right. Rock it out. Right. My thing is, I just don't think we need to be chewing our food for our babies. We're <gasps> not wolves. Okay. And I don't think we need to be nursing them until they're four. Right. But that's me. That's my thought. And I if, let's go Alicia Silverstone with well, the bird feeding baby. Chew, thing. Chew. 
If she has the time and the energy to do that, rock it out, sister. But what's happening? <laughs> like, that's what I want to know. What is going on? Do we have too much time on our hands? We do have too much time on our hands. I just don't understand. We Help don't have understand. time to chew and regurgitate our food for our children. I would like Maybe to hear. Maybe you would if you had the time. I would like to hear from the moms <laughs> out there in the world. I want to know what is going on. Please tell me, because I feel judgmental and I'm a little bit guilty about being judgmental. A little bit guilty. But I want to know from the rest of the moms in America, what's going on? What is and happening? Also, I think we, we need to stop changing the bar. All of a sudden, we need to work. We need to raise our kids. We need to keep the house clean. We need to join every committee there is. And now we need to chew our kids' food. It's like, I'm lucky that I get food on the table three times a day and some snacks in between and keep my refrigerator full. Like, who has time to do that? No one. No one. No one. And so, moms, if you're not chewing your food, you're mom enough. Doing your best every day, as long as your kids are safe and healthy, I mean, that's criteria number one and two. And if, you know, they're happy, I mean, that's three. Right. And if, you know, you can get them to do some stuff around the house and be social, then, you know. I mean, keep off the pole and off the pipe. <laughs> go then. <laughs> okay, mamas, go in on our site and let us know what you think about this and anything else that happens to be on your mind. And thanks for joining us on Kitchen Table Talk.